Hey, what's going on guys and gals? Uh, what we're doing now is we're going to be starting a new series on here. And we're going to be starting off at, um, as you can tell at the top, level 1, $4,000. And we are now going to be starting out this way. Now, this is what the shop looks like before you upgrade it and open up the entire space. Everything's locked off, you can't get to it. Uh, the way on how you got to do it is you got to go through here and you got to upgrade through here and this is how you purchase all your uh, tools and garage expansions and stuff like that and this is how you level up all right so what we're going to do is we're going to take on the first customer's car and it is let's see we got ourselves a 1977 Luxor Baron and the customer states that it needs brake pads fuel pump oil filter round air filter and standard tires got to drain the oil and fill it with new which we are going to change the oil filter anyway and we've got to change the brake fluid power steering fluid and the windshield washer fluid so let's go ahead and get started and bring this thing into the shop and we only have one car bay right now so one lifter so first things first what we're going to do is we're going to get four standard tires let's put it up on the for the first level Actually, what we'll do is we'll raise it all the way up and we'll bring over the We'll bring this over to a car lift one so we can drain the fluids out of it Yeah, Didn't look very healthy. That's for sure All right, let's see what were the parts we needed brake pads fuel pump oil filter and round air filter right now we got to use the old desktop here so let's get oh, we don't need a caliper we need two brake pads get back on there we need a fuel pump oil filter fuel pump where are you uh, I know it should be around here somewhere right there we need a fuel pump we need an oil filter which is going to be this one, oil filter V8, because it's got the uh, OHV SS in it, which is the same thing as a 409 big block. And then we need the air filter, which is two carb right there. And let's see, do we have everything we need to start? We've got the brake pads, the fuel pump, the oil filter, and the, yep, okay, we're good. So, first things first is we'll take. Well, that's extremely slow. As we'll take and put on the new oil filter. And then let's see, what size tires do we need for this thing? We'll grab them too while we're at it. 215, 75, 15, and it is standard tires, I believe. Yep, 215, 75, 15. Okay. We got standard tire. We need four of them, 15, 215, and then there's 75. Perfect. We've got all the tires. Awesome. And what we're going to do now is we're going to start in the front. I should have did these videos first or started at the beginning here first instead of jumping the gun and starting off one of my other profiles. We got that one changed. I'll put the caliper back on. Personally, if it was my car, I'd be changing everything, but it's not to my car, so. It's around a penetrating formula. Awesome. Now, since we're here, we may as well also take out the fuel pump, put in a new one. Dang, tire so that's in the way. Awesome. Alright, now we're going to go over to this side, take this tire off too. How's everyone doing today?
Alright, now we need to take the brake pads off of this. Perfect. Now we need to put the new pads on. Look at that. Oh, not yet. We're going to go over here to our tire machine and separate. Dang, even this machine seems like it's slow. Actually, while we're doing this, we can also drop this down. And I believe the only thing left now is the tires and the air filter, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, just the air filter. So we'll do that right now. And it's a two carb air filter because there's two carburetors on it. And then while we're here, what we will also do is we'll add some oil into the motor. Now once it starts to spray up out of the hole, then you're, you're full on oil. I think. Let's check and see when we're done. Alright. We've got the deep stick. Perfect. Right at the max line. Awesome. Okay, so that's done. Now we just got to worry about the tires. Once the tires are done, then we're done. For this job, anyway. Last one, last one. Now we got to install, well, Put the new tires on and then install the wheels and tires back on the car. Look how nice and shiny new they look, eh? Woo! Look good. And while we've got that one going on, we're gonna balance this one. And what I'm thinking we should do is grow the shop together. Oi, we don't need to do that. Second last one, and then, well obviously the last tire is on the wheel machine right now. Perfect. Awesome. Last wheel. And we gotta install them all in the car when we're done. Alright. Start at the rear since it's here. That one's on. I go to the driver's side rear. The driver's side front and passenger front. Awesome. Everything's done. Let's check and see. Alright, now we gotta do brake fluid, power steering fluid. Brake fluid and power steering fluid. Dang, that sounds watery. It's supposed to be a little bit thicker than that. All 
right, now we're going to put some brake fluid in it. Definitely is going to need a new master cylinder soon, that's for sure. Holy. All right, that's fill. Now we go over here to power steering fluid. Ugh, that ain't looking too healthy either. Alright, that's full. Now we come over here. Got some windshield washer fluid in it. outside see if it runs sounds like it's running a little bit rough but as far as I can tell everything is done all right not bad for our first job eh all right let's send this back to the customer Alright, we made like 1800 bucks off of that. That's awesome. Alright folks, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, the next, And they're just going to keep getting longer and a little bit more difficult and a little bit more challenging, guaranteed. So, please like and subscribe to the channel. Share the videos if you so choose to. Drop a comment. Tell me what you think of the video so far. You greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching.